So you've got full fiber, FTTP, fiber to the premises, but your connection is dropped and your internet's no longer working. In this video, I'll show you some checks that you can do to get yourself back online as quickly as possible. So with your full fibre connection, it's highly likely that your setup at home will look something like this. Now, this piece of hardware is called the ONT, and it's a very important piece of hardware, and it comes in different shapes and forms. If your ONT, for example, looks like the above, it's highly likely that you're connected to the city fibre network. If that is the case, click on the link above or the link in the description below to watch the video where we go into this in a little bit more detail. However, Continue watching this video if your ONT looks like one of these. Now these ONTs will still come in different shapes, however, they all have similar lights in common. Now those lights are LOS, PON, Power and Port 1. And the first thing you're going to want to do if your connection is dropped is have a quick check on that power light. Common sense, is it turned on? If it's not, check the power button's flicked on. If it is, is it plugged in and is the main switched on? If all that looks good, but you've still not got that power light, give us a quick call. We'll be more than happy to help you out at this point. However, if the power light is on and your internet connection is still not working, before you do anything else, what I'd like you to do is turn it off. Now you'll either be able to do that with a power button or there'll be a case of pulling the power cable out of the bottom of the ONT. Now do this and wait 10 seconds before you turn it back on again. Once you've turned it back on, give it a couple of seconds to reboot and see what lights return. If your internet connection hasn't returned at this point, what I'll then want you to do is perform a factory reset. Now you can do this with a pin-like object and put it, insert it into the hole on the ONT that is labeled reset. Similar to the reboot, hold it in for 10 seconds and wait for the lights to go out. After that 10 second period, have a quick check, see what lights return, and then recheck your connection. If that hasn't worked, we'll move on to the next diagnostic step, which is checking if the LOS light is on. And if the LOS light or loss of service light is currently on, then it'll be lit up red. If this is still on after performing a reboot and a reset, what I'd like you to have a quick check is under the ONT, you should be able to see the fiber cable going into it. Double check that's seated correctly and just have a check for any kinks or damage. It's unlikely that this has happened, but if you've had workmen in or if it has been knocked at all, that could be the issue because with fiber, it all works on light. Just like if you're trying to have a dark room and there's a little crack in your door and light shines through, the same principle works for fiber. So just make sure that it's seated correctly. If it's all seated correctly, you've rebooted, you've reset, and it's still not working, call our tech support on the number below. However, if the LOS light is off, but the PON light is on, that would indicate that there is a working connection reaching your ONT. So what we now need to look at is that port light, or the port one light, depending on your ONT. Now, that is in relation to the yellow port on the underside of your ONT. Now what should be there is a cable running to your router or your hardware. That should have been installed by the engineer. If the port one light is not on, double check that this cable is seated correctly and that your router or hardware on the end of this cable is turned on. If it is all seated correctly but that port one light is not on and you have performed the reboot and the reset, try an alternative cable. You should have got one with the router that we provided. Connect that up has that port one light come on? If that port one light hasn't come on, then that's indicating there is a potential issue with that port. Again, what you'll now need to do is call our tech support on the number below, and we'll be more than happy to look into this. At this point, however, if you have a port light, a PON light, and a power light, and your connection is still not working, that could indicate there is a potential config or settings issue within your router. So what you'll need to do is log into that router and just double check those settings are correct. And in this video here, I'll show you exactly how to do that. 
Alternatively, if you're confident those settings are correct, what we will then need to do is try an alternative router. Now, when you get that router, again, if you click on this video, it will talk you through the steps on how to set it up correctly. If you don't have access to an alternative router, what you can try is a PPPoE connection. And this is where you bypass your router with your PC. If you click on this video here, I'll talk you through exactly how to do that. At this point though, if you've got all those three lights and your connection is working, fantastic. You're online. Great. Well done. If you found this video helpful, do please click on that like button. If you want more like this, make sure you click on that subscribe button. And until next time, thank you.